Hey, this is the Betrayer, and oh my god. Huzzah! <laughs> I am so happy Lucas, Roy, and Ryu, what, are in the game. But here's the thing. I'm not happy about paying for pre-existing fighters in Smash. Am I the only one that thinks DLC fighters should be brand new to the series? Finally, we get someone new. Ryu. And that's one out of four. Anyway, it is what it is. I still love Smash. So, I'm surprised Ryu is such a unique fighter, and you can make his attack stronger by performing his actual input commands from Street Fighter. That is so cool! In the right hands of a good player, he seems overpowered. Hmm. But I still like him. And he has his very own stage, which is super cool, and two final smashes, what? So they added in new me outfits, which is no big deal to me. It's whatever. But they brought back Dreamland from Nintendo 64. I love that stage. Plus, they teased Hyrule Castle and Peach's Castle. Man, I can't wait for those. Oh, brings back memories. Nintendo sure knows how to tickle my nostalgia bone. And Miiverse stage is finally here. That's cool. I look forward to see what messages pop up while I'm doing awesome on the stage. Though, it's too bad we still have to wait for the tourney in August. Anyway, I'm still waiting on that Mewtwo amiibo, and Sakurai seems to love showing off his whole collection. <laughs> That's about it for announcements regarding Smash news for E3. Supposedly, the Nintendo Direct this Tuesday won't talk about Smash. For me personally, Smash news overshadows everything else in any Nintendo Direct. <laughs> I'm just a huge Smash fan. So, I guess it's a smart move to get this info out of the way. Hmm. But I wonder if they will reveal one more character in Smash on Tuesday, because last year they announced Pac-Man much later in the same day as the Direct. Hmm. Anyway, let me know what you think of today's announcements and if you plan on getting any of the DLC. This is The Betrayer, and I'll see you next time.